Welcome back to PPR, Presley's Passions and Reactions. I'm Presley. Thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the channel. It's highly appreciated. All the support and love I'm receiving from you guys. Thank you very much. Now on this video, I would like to talk about, speak about something serious. But I consider should be serious to everybody in the country. I mean... Did you guys hear the story about the government losing or misplacing or can't find 1,500, about 1,500 immigrant children? Now, you it sounds like that's ridiculous. How can the government lose 1,500 children? But there's absolutely a lot of truth to that. They lost or cannot accommodate 1,475 children. The story as it goes is that from October to December of last year, 2017, ORR, Office of Refugee Resettlement, attempted to reach 7,635 UAC, what they deem as UAC, unaccompanied alien children. And the, and the children that they, the people that they gave the children to, their sponsors. Now, of that, of the 7,635 children and sponsors, they pretty much contacted about 86% of them. And they, some, some, the, those that they have not contacted, or didn't contact immediately, they eventually learned that some of the sponsors have moved or some even some of the children were sent back to where their to their country of origin. But as of now, as of right now, since December of 2017, as of right now, the government border security The Administration of Children and Families for the Department of Health and Human Services have not contacted about 1,475 UAC, unaccompanied alien children. I mean, does that seem right to you? I'm going to start doing a a video of I'm gonna start doing a segment where I'm gonna be making videos of just simple or what you would think would be simple common sense actions is common sense situations where you just can't believe how unequal and how disparaging and how just generally fucked up circumstances can be for certain people and for these kids it's just amazing to me how you can the government itself the administration for children and families for the department of health and human services can give children away to sponsors and then not be able to contact those sponsors 1475 children are just missing and the sponsors cannot be located, the kids can be located, and they had a, a hearing when? On April 26th, they had a hearing. Well, during that hearing, the acting assistant of the Administration for Children and Families for the Department of Health and Human Services, Stephen Wagner, was asked, are there any, or has there been any efforts to locate those children beside, besides just calling the sponsors? And you know what the man said? The man said, no, there hasn't been any effort to contact those sponsors or to try and use other methods to locate those, con to locate those sponsors and try to locate those children. 
Now, does that seem right to you? That a phone call is enough for them to say that they tried to locate those children, but nobody picked up the phone, so oh well. Does that seem right to you? It's amazing to me how I would think that the most decent the most decent people in this country would be out I mean not even that the most decent people. I would just think that this story would be bigger and more on the news and more talked about and and, and more tweeted about than fucking what Roseanne Barr tweeted. I mean 1,475 children who were taken away from their parents as a way to deter illegal immigration, which, by the way, is not just Trump's policy. It's been the policy for the last couple of presidents, but it's never been taken to the extreme as the way Trump and his cronies have been doing. I mean... Wow, you can just lose children now in America, but as long as they're immigrants, it, it, it's not a big fuss. It's it can be the story can be blown over overnight, or something else will take its place. I mean, how is that even possible? How are all of those people who claim to be Jesus fearing, God fearing Christians, Catholics, Muslims? All those people in our government who swear up and down that they live by the good book or try to live by the good book and take Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I mean, I know Jesus Christ, as he's written in the book, will not just allow or forget that children are missing. I, I it's, it's not even a religious thing. It's just a, a good person a good human being, a, a decent country, a, a decent policy. I thought this country was all about protecting those who are in the most need, who need America's protection the most, who are fleeing other countries, trying to get out of desperate situations, looking for a better life. Why is that such a negative all of a sudden? I mean, we all know why, don't we? Immigrants are so blind and and it's just so ironic that this country is a nation of immigrants that there is practically nobody that's everybody that is practically everybody that's here their roots are rooted in another country someplace else except for native americans it's 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 just amazing to me. like wow where how low will our country america stoop how low will trump bring us how low will we bring ourselves we all know trump is a liar we all know uh, every, uh, pretty much all of what he says is just fuckery. So why does he get paid so much attention to? Because he's a goddamn president of the United States. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that, that whoever is the next president, Democrat, Republican, or Independent, the, the, the weight of the office, the respect of the office, the the dignity of the office is never ever going to be the same after this president i mean maybe it will but give it some time but immediately after i don't know i don't know it all depends on who wins it next year in 2020 but um it's just amazing to me how you can just lose children and that story just be on the back burners of all major news stations all major news outlets it's just it's it's saddening to see how low we're becoming as a country that even immigrant children 
can't get the respect and honor and dignity that they deserve to even look for them. The man said, no, we're not taking any additional steps to find those children. Like, what? How can you say something like that? I feel so bad about for the parents who brought their children here to look for a better place, a better life, risking all, risking everything to get that better life. And now to be punished in such a way as your children are gone and you may not hear from them anytime soon or maybe maybe even ever. It's just ridiculous to me, man. <laughs> Out of, oh, man, uh, it's America is so good, but yet it's so bad at the same time. I, the, the duality of America is just amazing. The aspirations that it has and the aspirations that it fails to achieve is just, it's just mind-boggling. But, you know, time will tell how this thing folds, how this unfolds. And please, I would like for you to keep, keep an eye on this story. Don't let this story just slip into the background. Don't let all this other distractions like Roseanne and Trump's tweets and all this other just bullshit, basically, distract from something as serious and big as 1,475 children just gone, missing. But please comment down below. Tell me what you think. Please like and subscribe also. This is PPR, Press These Passions and Reactions. I'm Presley. Thank you for listening, and I'm out.